once upon a time on Tiger TV, we talked with little Roy. You spend a lot of time with him, and I find it hard to get a word in edgewise. It is hard to get a <laughs> word in edgewise with little Roy. He's the one that's uh, got a gift for Gab. <laughs> that one does, yeah. Well, to make a long story really short, how did you guys meet up? Well, I was born and raised in Lincoln, Georgia, down there where the Lewis family's from. And they're kin folks in a roundabout way. And uh, I'd known Little Roy all my life. His family used to pick with my family. Before it was the Lewis family, it was the Lewis brothers. And uh, they picked with the Long family. But the Long family all had farms, and the Lewis brothers and everybody, they all worked at the factories. So they just quit their jobs and went singing full time, but my family couldn't due to the fact that they all owned the farms and everything. They couldn't just up and leave. So the years went through, and I've known Little Roy since I was born. and. Uh, by the time I was 15, him and Bonnie got me when I became a ward of the state. That's kind of an interesting story unto itself, isn't it? It is. It's a very long and interesting story. And we'll maybe talk about that some other time. You have a lot of interesting things happen in your life. About a year ago, I guess it was right here at this event, Bluegrass on the Waccamaw, that you guys kind of came out and says, hey, we're, we're doing this together now. Yeah, the Lewis family had to retire in May due to uh, health reasons and, and illnesses. Polly had Lewy body dementia and Parkinson's disease. And... Um, Little Roy, he still is going strong, you know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, it was just something that was just kind of, wasn't even talked about it, it was just something that just knew it was going to happen. So this was our first, I was already, Jenna's Chestnut booked me here at the Bluegrass on the Waccamaw, and the Lewis family had retired, so this officially was our first date last year as the Little Roy and Lizzie show. Good stuff. Yeah, kind of put some of the old stuff uh, in with the new stuff, and you, you kind of have a Nashville connection as well now, don't you? I do. I moved up to Nashville when I graduated from college in West Virginia and uh, did a record with Earl Scruggs and was a uh, protege of Buddy Spiker's up there and did a lot of work up there just for Spiker and hanging out with Mr. Scruggs and Louise and uh, just a lot of work up in Nashville until I waited on Little Roy basically, you know what I mean? We don't want to dwell on it too much, but the floods that we had uh, a while back in Nashville kind of affected you personally, didn't they? Yeah, I live right there at the Opry, about a mile from it on the river. So I, I lost everything I owe. <laughs> I don't I don't I don't have anything right now while we speak, you know. So it's all good though, you know, we'll make it. I'll make it. I got good friends and uh uh a lot of good fans too that, you know, are helping me out, so I'll be all right. Well, you're going to be in our thoughts and prayers, and we look forward to seeing you out there on the road this year. Well, I sure do appreciate it, and we're sure are glad to be here at the Bluegrass on the Waccamaw again. Lizzie, good seeing you. Thanks for a little time with us. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Lizzie Long, here with Banana Jack on Tiger TV.